Australia's oldest and largest settlement is a vibrant city built around one of the most spectacular harbours in the world. Instantly recognisable thanks to its opera house, harbour and bridge, Sydney also boasts lesser known attractions like the historic rocks, Victorian era Paddington, heavenly beaches such as Bondi and Manly, and two superb coastal national parks on the city fringe. The much-loved, imposing Sydney Harbour Bridge crosses the harbour at one of its narrowest points, linking the southern and northern shores and joining central Sydney with the satellite business district in the north. The bridge was built in 1932 at a cost of $20 million and has always been a favourite icon, partly because of its sheer size, its function in uniting the city and because it boosted employment during the Depression. Sydney's first European settlement was on the rocky spur of land on the western side of Sydney Cove, from which the Harbour Bridge now crosses to the North Shore. Ethnic groups contribute to the city's social life. The dynamism of the Chinese community in particular has played an important role in altering the city's Anglo-Mediterranean fabric, preparing it to become a key player in Asia. The city is built on land once occupied by the Aora tribe, whose presence lingers in the place names of many suburbs and whose artistic legacy can be seen at many Aboriginal engraving sites around the city. After its brutal beginnings, and a long period when it seemed content to be a second-rate facsimile of a British city, Sydney has finally come of age. After being selected to host the 2000 Olympic Games, it has undergone a period of rejuvenation aimed at putting its cityscape on a level with its natural charm. Sydney Opera House is dramatically situated on the eastern headland of Circular Quay. Its soaring, sail-like, shell-like roofs were actually inspired by palm fronds. It's a memorable experience to attend a performance here, or just to linger at an outdoor cafe and watch harbour life go by. 